Ruben Sanders, a far right extremist, with controversy beyond advocating for a furry genocide and illegally banning them despite being unconstitutional. Benjamin Robert Simpson, aka Ruben Sim, is a Roblox YouTuber who's known for mature gaming and criticism videos. Roblox is a young audience, with the majority being under the age of 12. Many other Roblox creators censor themselves by not swearing, getting to controversy, or illegal behavior. However, Ruben exposes predators and pedos on the platform, which Roblox has failed to do, but despite this, they don't appreciate the work. Mr. Obvious, a Roblox YouTuber who won an award in 2014, was exposed by Ruben for targeting children 13. 15 years old. Multiple users reached out to Ruben explaining the situation, and they compiled their responses into a video uploaded on June 18, 2017. They weren't attacking the Roblox community or the company, but warning their audience to stay away from Mr. Obvious and blocking anyone who sent inappropriate messages. Ruben created Roblox Watch, a satirical news show that uses edgy humor to mock Roblox's policies and their CEO. In 2015, they exposed Bob Buren, aka Noble Dragon, head of moderation at Roblox for following a not safe work artist on Twitter. Bob banned Ruben's account after the video was released. In 2018, Ruben met them in a game and jokingly asked that they would unban an original account if they won. After Ruben beat them, their account and all associated accounts were IP banned. They also started a series asking how much gore Roblox games can have, using their skills as a Roblox game developer to make a popular game where revenue go back to hiring more developers. However, it was taken down for gore content, extreme blood, despite other violent Roblox games being available. Roblox filed a lawsuit against Ruben on November 23rd, 2021, for false and misleading terrorist threats, engaging in intimate conversations, harassing employees, and other inappropriate behaviors. One of the accusations Roblox made against Ruben was that they tweeted a photo Photoshop picture of a former Roblox employee depicting them nude. This wasn't true, as the employee was running a not safe for work account with these pictures. They also criticized the Roblox for doing nothing when a high-ranking developer is copying a predator. The only reason the developer got banned was that Sega filed a DMCA takedown request on their group for copyright infringement. We've been discussing an article exposing multiple people, including a Roblox admin as Discord predators. The admin account is still available on Roblox, the company denying the accusations. Many Roblox YouTubers and developers agreed with the lawsuit, citing Ruben's controversial past behavior on the platform. However, some users defended him. They mean that you are not responsible for the terrorist threat that caused the temporary shutdown of Roblox Developers Conference. The person behind it made a deleted tweet on October 16th with a toy gun and an image of a Roblox character. They made another tweet denying any affiliation with Ruben, while also criticizing Roblox putting the blame on them just because they criticized the moderation, taking full responsibility for the terrorist threat. After setting the lawsuit with Roblox, Ruben's allowed to keep their channel and social media accounts, but their access to the Roblox website was revoked. The penalty is due from 1.65 million to 150,000, although it's still to pay for lawyer fees, which he started a fundraiser for. In December 2022, Ruben changed their Twitter about to furry slash chronic masturbators blocked on site. On the 27th, they uploaded a video falsely saying all furries were do files. Despite angry comments, and Ruben would double down, stating they wanted furries gone, calling them groomers and porn addicts. They stated that the president they would stash disaster camps to round up furries and garner the dog food, promoting a furry genocide. They retweeted an Arizona furry named Tadishi Koma that was arrested for kidnapping a 13 year old boy and crossing state lines with him. The furry and underage boy had a conversation on Roblox, which then moved to Discord, Twitter, and FaceTime with intimate content. They picked up the boy from their home in the night on the 27th was found next day in Nebraska. On the 29th, they also tweeted a poll asking, did hospitals deny furries access to healthcare? With 64% saying yes, and 36% saying no, I support the virus. Despite considerable backlash, with many pointing out they liked tweets from trans world creators, they also pointed to a drawing they made in 2013 when they were 16, which featured intimate relationship with a 12 year old. Women were revisited this post several times in 2015 and 2016 when they were now 18, replying to this post saying, ah, memories. On February 8th, they stated, next week, I'll be appearing before my state's legislature to argue in favor of criminalizing being a furry. On the 17th, they held pause. Never saw a law that banned those who publicly identify as furries, while also promising and recording the speech. The next day, Ruben retweeted another user who asked Katie Hobbs, the current governor of Arizona, to reverse the decision, and he stated, This decision is irreversible. On the 19th, they continued to make death threats towards furries, saying, What's the difference between a furry and my title? I don't have no idea titles to in my backyard. He also tweeted Twitter's report messages, which showed Twitter refusing to take down false, misleading, and terroristic tweets, comparing furries to Nazis. On the 24th, they encouraged their fans to call the phone number and leave a voice note and support the supposed Arizona anti-furry bill. Even saying, if this bill does not pass, I'll be quitting YouTube forever. Despite this, the law violates the First Amendment and looking at the Arizona government website shows no laws being publicly available. Ruben has a controversial pass online for exposing predatory behavior on Roblox, which is made up of young people. This admirable goal has resulted in limited success in taking down predators and even Roblox trying to silence them. Many do not support Roblox due to poor moderation and exploitation of their young audience and workers. However, Ruben has taken this too far when a furry preyed on a young kid caused him to stereotype the entire frame as Zoo files, groomers, and porn addicts. They're so far right they favor a furry genocide, and legally criminalize Arizona to want to be furries. No matter your opinion on the fandom or Roblox, this extreme behavior is simply unacceptable. It feels in a worryingly increasing politicization and polarization of furries in the LGBTQ plus community. If you want to hear about a country trying to ban furries, check out why Russia wants to ban the fandom.